So most of the time, we, you know, we hear uh, teacher bashing or institution bashing. Headmasters to be kicked and, you know, everybody is so mad about them. They're lousy guys. They just take our money and don't do any work, don't teach. So don't you think that even parents need to be bashed once in a while, mm. you know, figuratively speaking, of course. Mm. You know, that there, there should be some somebody to tell parents how to be parents uh, yes. of their children, you know. Yes. Well, do you have anything to say on that? Yes, yes. Uh, parents, yes, at least the today, at last 15 years, I've seen a lot of change. The parents are pretty open okay. uh, to, you know, new things. But uh, definitely not which is happening in the Tire 2 and the Tire 3 cities, okay. where the parents are still very, very, very obsessed that the child should, uh, you know, uh, do academics. Are they getting and, uh, misguided by television? Do, does television impart any good uh, stories in the educational field? Would would anybody watching a soap uh, uh, serial? No, serials some are something which is miserable. You know, if they are going in, to in watch the, the serials, hardly hardly anything. Which what do you see in TV? What do you see on TV? You see cinema on TV today. You don't see anything else. You know. Well, it's supposed to be a continuous uh, drama yeah, of, yeah. A, of a family. Oh, family which is only reproducing the same social perceptions or the same social mindsets. Uh, what is the what is the value? Nothing that, new Nothing coming nothing, to? nothing which is uh, you know changing uh, bringing about a change in the thought process of the child. So even uh, a Character like that written into a serial would yes, make a difference. Definitely, you know. You, again, it is again portraying the same beliefs that you know a child studies, ends in a job. The the, the destination is to get married mm. for a girl. Uh, for a girl, and a destination is to provide. You know, it's the same. It's the same thing. Nothing. Do they ever encourage the arts, the humanities? Um, humanities are absolutely do have no place in the Indian education system. Very at least the North Indian uh, universities and a few in Kerala or something like that. We mm. have give a lot of recognition to humanities. But today we in, in the South in Tamil Nadu we are talking about closing down the humanities departments really? in different universities. So humanities is such a it's such a robust and a dynamic uh, subject, subjects yeah, yeah. which are there in humanities which people do not recognize the value of it. And so whose fault is that? The government. To understand the education the government, and, uh, and also yes, definitely the what kind of education system we have already charted out. What is it that the uh, how how could the university declare that this department is not functioning because we have not created that kind of a, you know environment in the uh, schools. And then maybe employment opportunities are low also yeah. for humanities students. Is that yes, so? it, that is what it is. Today it is uh, today it is definitely there is you and either the other than a government job. Yeah. The humanity students have nothing much to, uh, you know, do in India. Okay, then I mean, they can go into sales, Sale. marketing. Only, and uh, yeah, that is all. Uh, oh. Sales, marketing, or do something on their but own. But isn't that good? Such a yes. lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are doing. Uh, so okay, so while science, while medicine and um, and engineering has its place. Everybody else is a humanity yes, student, basically yes, employing yes, those, yeah, those skills. Yes. Yes. So you can't say that we are not paying attention to it. I think no. They are... produce these uh, kids out of these school, uh, colleges. You have uh, BA English Literature, and how many BA English Literature people or an MA English Literature uh, yeah, student okay. can write without making any mistakes in English? Okay. All right. An English teacher who is an MA or an MPhil or yeah. even a PhD okay. struggles to speak the language. What about historians? Uh, do they appreciate uh, history? Do they impart not. history with history, any passion? Many of them uh, do history without even understanding what is the relevance of doing a history, history course. Yeah. Even the teachers in the colleges do not know what is the relevance of doing this course. So where is all this going to change and who is yeah. going to bring about the change? Teachers themselves? Uh, it is not the teachers who can do anything at that level, you know, okay. it is not the teachers. It is, I think, definitely we need to have a strong system. government will, a will, okay. uh, a will from the government. So in, uh, in the governmental structure, uh, where who, who would you say is the, the top of the pile? See, the most important thing is today we have politicians ruling, uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, educational universities. Okay. So you don't have educational professionals who have play who are playing their important role or have, have say who have something to say but that's because, how these uh, the vice chancellors are supposed uh, to be aren't they supposed to be uh, educated people who no, no these? vice chancellors are not educated in terms of uh, a phd or a doctorate no? they are the guys who, who, um, who they, admin, they, admin. Uh, they are they own most of the time most of the time the chancellor is the person who owns the university okay and uh, uh, that is, an, uh, that is a body, a governing body okay. which governs. That's how colleges are. And the government, yeah. g governing body is always consisting of different professionals from different... Uh, how critical is a trained teacher in a school as opposed to a teacher sure. who has come just out of passion? Is, is training all that critical? Yes, definitely to teach, yeah. to understand what is teaching and imparting training. See, very important thing is two things, teaching and training. Teaching is imparting knowledge from the book. Yes. 
okay training is development of a skill in the child so and understanding the strength of the child and working on the skills working on the strengths is the teacher in the school has both these roles to play a so teacher have, and a trainer yeah when you have 50 students in and very difficult swamped, you're yes. swamped with too many too many and there is a pressure to make these children all pass the exam mm. so the child the, the, the teacher is uh, doesn't have in those 7 uh, hours or 6 hours of class he so or do she you like takes, do you like parents coming in and asking uh, teachers uh, how's my son yes, doing is yes they it, should do they you, should you, they, or they do you should. find that as interference no not at all the parents should uh, have a lot of uh, you know involvement in what the child is doing Okay. because today parents are so busy doing uh, yeah. you know their work and, uh, or maybe these uh, as you know uh, parents who aspire to their children growing up uh, above their yes, station yes. or the, wherever they were so they may not even know about what is being What's taught so they may not be in a position Many to even ask have these uh, uh, meetings which PTAs. sometimes pts but sometimes these pts become a routine affair they don't have anything different to say to the becomes a punch up uh, or just uh, sharing the report card you know Uh, but in some schools they do it very very democratically and they call and they have inputs taken from the parents and and they are implemented uh, okay kalpana it's been lovely having you here yeah. and i really uh, wish so your much. advice would be listened to somebody somewhere who yeah. matters who can take some action yes thanks for coming thank you so much mr madhav yeah.